Hey guys, it's the Shrothinator here, and I am making Mirko Crow Cop. Obviously, they don't have the nickname Crow Cop in here, but his, if in case you guys didn't know, his last name is actually Filipovich. Filipovich? I, I don't know how to pronounce it exactly, but that's his actual last name. It's not Crow Cop. Crow Cop's a nickname. Obviously, they don't have that nickname, so I gave the cl closest thing is the Crusher. Now, he's actually from Zagreb, Croatia. I actually found the place he's from, and of course, he's a heavyweight. He's 40 years old, but you know the highest he'll let you go is 35. He's six foot two. He's 227 pounds, decent height. And then the weight, he's actually quite lighter. A lot of people, including myself, thought he should fought as soon as he transitioned to UFC. He should have fought at 205, but that's not what he ended up doing. He's 32 wins, 11 losses, two draws in one no contest, 23 knockouts. Five submissions, three decisions, five knockout losses, three submission losses, and three decision losses. Undefeated in rematches, in case you guys didn't know that, little fun fact. But I'm, again, just like, um, just like Fedor Emelianko, I'm actually looking at Crow Cop's face. Trying to find the face that looks most like him. That one's actually... Why? Well, that one's... Down seems pretty good actually. We're gonna go with that. So um his eyes are brown. It looks like it, yeah. So um his hair. I don't think they'll have his hair in here. That's that's a problem. Uh no, that's not really this might be as close as we get. It's a little too high up. We might not have Crow Cop's hair here. No way can we give Crow Cop that hair. <laughs> Alright, so the closest we're going to get is this hair. That's as close as we're going to get to Crow Cop's hair, sadly. Uh, if you, is there another version of Crow Cop? Maybe, I think I've seen him with like a little short mohawk type thing. Nothing like this, but I mean, I don't know. But we're going to have to go with this one. If you guys want to find a different hairstyle that he's had before that I don't know about. But the one that he currently has is like this. Most out of... The other styles. His eyebrows are kind of thin too. Facial hair, he's kind of just got stubble. And body hair, kind of like not really much, but whatever. So uh, his hairstyle is actually a tad darker. So we're gonna go do that. So you can actually see the stubble now, really. Body hair. Whoa. Yeah, let's do that. And then body type. Alright, so his body type. He is fairly ripped. It's kind of like a weird style of ripped, though. He's actually not, like, gigantic, though. Um, he's fairly skinny, though, also. See, that's too big. That's definitely too big. These are still kind of pushing it, too. That one's kind of thin. I don't know. It's kind of hard to work with, though. I mean, he's... He's skinnier, but he's, like, not super skinny. So that's, like, a decent thickness. We're gonna go with this one. That's... It kind of seems like it. He's got some weird abs like that. He's pretty white. So we're gonna go with this skin tone. No tattoos that I'm aware of. Shirts and hats, you can choose whatever, but we're just going to worry about the fight shorts, which are Valetudo shorts. And he's kind of, you know, he's got those checkered kind, which they obviously don't have in the game. But if you look at his shorts, um, I might actually have to look up another picture of his shorts, see if he, um... He's got the longer Valetudo shorts. Oh, there's some of them, him actually having shorter ones. So you can kind of choose whatever. There's also pictures of him in trunks. So you can kind of pick whatever. But I'm going to try to find a white pair. There we go. That's, that's fine. We'll give him the white pair. Because he usually kind of wore either black or white shorts. It was mostly the, the black shorts with the one patch of checkered red and white. But that's what we're gonna have to go with. 
Now, you can choose the sponsors, all that. We're gonna go to abilities. See, it's like you don't have a whole lot to work with. The character creation in these game, in this game, is just not that good. They need to fix that a lot. But we're gonna give him vicious kicks. We're definitely gonna give him uh, attack the base because you know his kicks are just amazingly vicious. We're not gonna give him any, and I mean any ground things unless it helps him stand up. Which, as you can see, none of them really do that. So. But, I mean, like, that's, that's just what he did, though. If you knock down Prokop or you took him down, he'd just get the fuck back up. Like Chuck Liddell. That's basically what it was. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go with... Um... Oh, where's that opportunist? We want to give him an opportunist. He hurt guys, he kind of went in for the kill. Maybe that's in here. Yes, there it is. Uh, opportunist. Uh, we're giving him targeted cruelty. And then... We're going to go ahead and give him... health event costs no stamina you know when he's standing still he's gonna be regaining gaining more stamina he kind of like the kind of plant himself and then on um, whatever he needed to he'd move forward but he wouldn't need to if ne unless necessary now as for strikes we're not gonna give him too too many power strikes especially in the punching uh, department we are going to give him, however, this uh, overhead hook. That's not the real hook that he does, but there's actually a hook in here. The motion in the game, how they do it with that move, they just show the wrong animation in the picture there. Completely wrong. He actually did that in real life. For those of you actual EA Sports UFC players, you know what I'm talking about, which move it is. I'm going to spin back fist. Very good kickboxer. Give him this ducking hook. Again, we don't want to get him like too, um, there's other spinning back fist. We don't want to get him like too flashy or anything. We want to make it realistic. Now, as for leg kicks, we're going to give him the regular, this leg kick, because that's kind of what he did. He do like the lighter leg kicks, but, um, we're going to go ahead and give him the switch leg kick. Yeah. I don't know, GSP switch kick where he kicks him in the head. There it is. We are going to give him a flying knee, just not on that knee. We're going to give it to the dominant leg. No jumping switch kick. No crane kick. Where's back and surf? Oh, shit. Alright, so we're gonna actually going to go here. No flying knee to the body. That's just to the body, don't matter. Front kick. Yeah. Go on regular front kicks right here. Uh, should we give him a spinning back kick? I'm think no, let's not give him a spinning back back kick. That'd be that doesn't seem very crow cop like. All one back in circle. Ducking roundhouse, we could give him a jumping roundhouse. We're gonna go with the ducking roundhouse. I think crow cop, you know, that might be a crow cop type move. There is the flying knee we wanted to give him. Uh, none of those. Back in circle. You know, a roundhouse or Brazilian kick. We're just going to give him the regular roundhouse. Is it back in X that I'm thinking? Oh, there's the axe kick. That's what I wanted. I want to make sure he gets an axe kick. Because he actually did that. Now I'm looking for a specific... No... I'm trying to find that switch in music, kind of. I don't know, but we're going to give him another axe kick, I guess. No off the cage strikes. Takedowns, whatever. Ground transitions, we're actually not going to give him too, too many. Um, yeah, that's. I'm just going to let everyone have that. Definitely want him to get out of that. Which one's this? No, 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 no. No, not that either. 
Uh, no, we don't want to give him a sweep there. No, we'll, we'll give him the sweeps just so we can get the top control and get out, really. That's mainly what it's for. And submissions. We're going to limit it quite a bit, to be honest. Doesn't matter anyway. Uh, Dominant full mount, of course. You want that. You don't have rubber guard anyway. What's it matter? On triangle choke from everywhere. Why not? No darts choke, though. No Goga Platas. He's not a submission guy, so we're not going to give him too many submissions. Uh, no inverted triangle, no Japanese necktie. Though we do kind of want him to have one submission, at least in the amount. Or the sprawl, I'm sorry. Uh, no knee bar here. No knee bar there. No Amaplatas, of course. No Peruvian neckties. Give him the Runic Choke. No knee no rolling knee bar. No amount of triangle arm bar. No triangle choke, no twister. And we'll give him the windshield choke, just because. Not really a big deal. Here we go for the the attributes. Of course you gotta make him a kickboxer. That's the obvious. It's it's Krokot. Come on. <laughs> I don't know what just happened with my phone. I'm trying to get back to uh, the sure dog thing just so I can make sure I get it all right. We're not going to put his blocking at 65, but we're going to put it at a decent height, decent amounts because he's croak out. Clinch control. We're going to make it good. Clinch passing. We'll make it pretty good. Clinch throws, however, are not going to be very good. Kick speed. We're gonna make it the fastest possible. Left leg power, you gotta make that 100, no doubt. Right leg hospital, left leg cemetery. And then make his right leg power 95. Punch speed, we're only gonna make it to 60. Left hand power, 95, and then right hand power 90. Stand-up is 92. Now, he has been submitted five times. Which we're going to want to look and see exactly where we should um, apply this submission defense. One moment here. I'm trying to look up his submission losses. He actually has a submission due to punches that he lost from. But it seems like we're going to have to make his choke defense lower because it seems like he has no arm submission losses or joint submission losses really so far. He just has choke losses and a submission due to... Uh, oh, there's an arm bar loss. But it seems we're just going to make uh, the choke defense and joint defense about a good 95 each. And as for the offense, we're just going to put it at 85. There we go. Submission's 90. I want to make him a specific overall, too. Then ground control. We're only going to give it to like a good 85. We might bump it up to 90 later, possibly. Ground passing. We're actually going to bring him up to 60. So he can get out of dominant positions. Or get out of his opponent's dominant positions. My bad. Take down defense, we're going to put up to 95. Take downs, however, are not going to be so generously given at an 85. So an 89 ground now. Body health, very durable body. Shit health, we're just going to put at 90. Not the best shit anymore. Endurance, good 60. Leg health. We're going to put that bitch at 100. Stamina, maybe a good 60. Movement, 65. That's actually a little higher than I wanted, to be honest with you. So, um... Put his takedowns down actually. 